Everybody, it's Tyler here at Riverbots covering back to you, Team Dark Phoenix, coming in from Quebec. Uh, a lot of history here uh, with Dark Phoenix as they look into their first year at VexU, but they've been building a phenomenal robot here. Their skills is absolutely insane with how quick they are and stuff. And we'll be covering why that is. This 1,000 RPM single hook intake uh, that they have is really, really cool. We're we'll talking about their choice to go with claws. You'll notice no lady round mechanism on this, but wow, are they fast nonetheless. We'll talking about some of the future changes they're looking at making, how they got to where they are, all this and more coming up on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. So Matt, we mentioned in this here that your team is not gone uh, with the Lady Brown route, which I'm a big fan of seeing the non-typical meta designs on it. So talk to me about what route your team went and how it's working out for you. Yeah, of course. So basically the thing that we just like about Lady Brown is the fact that everyone goes with that this year. So as you can see, the robot is not looking at all as a, at, like a Lady Brown. So we are running a single hook robot. So basically how it works is base, we just have a ring here and we just, have a single revolution of the hook to score on the uh, mobile goal. The idea behind that is to make sure that first we don't have the issue with like grabbing the wrong color uh, of rings and also it's making sure that we are able to be even faster than most intake because we don't have the transition to do between the front stage and the hook intake for example. Second part of the robot to score basically instead of a lady brown we are using a pneumatic claw. I know that when we talk about claw box sometime it's not something that we think is good but in that case, it's allowing us to be even faster than most mechanisms. So basically, we just lower the lift. We have a ring that can come through here, and then we can just lift the, the arm like that and ram into the uh, eye states. Doing that is allowing us to have a bigger uh, range of motion to score the rings, and it's allowing us to be even faster than most Lady Brown. Something we were talking earlier to was uh, your implementation, how you're doing your goal rush mechanism on it. What you guys are doing is really cool for that too. So let's showcase how that works also. Yeah, so in VX2, goal rush is like super important because we have three goals on the line instead of just one like BRC. So the first part of the goal rush for us that is important is rocking a 10 motor drive with 600 RPM on 2.75 inches wheel. So we have four motor there, two in the small hole here, and we have four in the custom plastic piece in the back. The idea behind that is to be even faster than most team. And in order to be as fast as possible, we have two extensions of this robot. So both robots are actually the same, but this one has a specification since he's the 24 inches bot. So at the start of the match, in order to begin a match, we need to be uh, above the white tape line. So in order to do that, we are just extending this small arm here in order to start closer to the goal. When we drive forward a little bit, it's just retracting, and then it's allowing us to deploy from the front the other part of the mechanism. So doing that is allowing us to grab under the goal, tilt it in a weird way that the opponent won't be able to grab, and it's allowing us to win the goal rush every single time. So then I want to ask you, uh, looking at when you were originally approaching the game, what were some of the main like objectives that you came up with that you wanted these robots to accomplish? Yeah, so in VEX2, one of the main things that is allowing us to qualify to Worlds is the skills challenge. So we put a lot of effort on this robot in order to be good as, possi as much as possible in skills. So right now we have been able to be the first seeded team in the VEX World Ranking. So we are looking to work a lot on that. But these robots are really made to be uh, as fast as possible for wall stake and also mobile goal. And also allow us to do a single climb with this two small hook. David, we talked about, you know, with the uh, way you're doing your goal rush, kind of skirting some of the VEXU rules and how it works up to you. I'd love to hear more about how your team approached, you know, coming from, you know, a V5RC background into VEXU. How are you uh, creating the robot to fit within the VEXU constraints of what the game is? Yeah, so because we are some teams, of, some old teams of the VRC, um, we started the design process with a robot that uh, is 100% legally in VRC high school and middle school. So like the, un, un, the amount of motor on the drive base, the limited of plexiglass and everything else, um, we made it 100% legal. So after that, we used the rule, the, the, we used the rule of VX2 to make it more efficiency in skills and in drive. So the first rule that we all, a lot use is the amount of motor. We started by, like I said, we put 10 motor on the drive base that help us that help us very well to have a lot of speed and a lot of power 
to go to the gold rush and like um, um, steal gold to the robots. Um, also, the tree printed help, help us to put um, like the ten models on drive base. Like you can see here, um, the two models that are placed here are placed on um, on a 3D printed shape, and it's it's not possible with a normal uh, normal piece uh, that are gold in VX V5. Um, also, the polycarbonate is uh, one thing that we a lot use. Let's use a lot. And um, for the lift, because we start with the uh, aluminium uh, lift, it was really too heavy and it, like if it, if it has a shock, it could be uh, broke or uh, bend. So what do we do? We change it for um, polycarbonate, uh, polycarbonate uh, sheet of a uh, thick of uh, one quarter. So it make it very, uh, very, um, very thick, flexible. So if you get a, a shock, does it a break? It's pretty good. Also, um, we use a polycarbonate for the gold rush because if we get a shock again, it, it can bring back um, on its place uh, whenever you want. Um, so that's it. So you guys have had a, uh, an opportunity to play some skills matches already, uh, both prior to this and here. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the competition itself too. What are you looking forward to here at Riverbots? Uh, what are some of the other teams that are standing out to you, and how do you think you're going to fare against them in the uh, competition standpoint? Um, like I think we can win. Uh, like I think we can get the advantage a lot because of the no amount of mother and because we are not like the other team. A, a lot of the other team, like the, with the Lady Brown, like said, um, it has it's pretty serious. But if we have a lot of practice with the with the clamp with the claw, it's pretty it's pretty much uh, more fast than the, the Lady Brown. And it helps us very well to go do wall six just before the end and climb after that. Does, it, does that change your math strategy all coming from skills in or are you just pretty much all offense all the time anyways? Uh, we're pretty much uh, offense every time. But if it is for a corner, like a positive or a negative corner, where a lot of defense, um, that's why we put a 10 water on drive rate. Makes sense. Uh, speaking of, as we start to wrap up on a couple things here, Edward, uh, let's focus. Uh, I'd love to hear about the climb mech that you have on that and maybe some feature changes you're looking at making to this robot as you go to uh, other competitions. Yeah, um, for now, so we're on the low hang, but uh, later we would like to introduce like a, a bigger mechanism, like redesigning re, re, designing a robot so that we can uh, do a high hang or a top ring uh, that would uh, really advantageous in match and also skills. Because uh, right now we're doing a pretty good score on skills. Uh, we could get more points by climbing uh, higher or uh, doing like in Vexu, you can climb a robot like um, on the other so that you make more points. So we would like to uh, go with that. So um, uh, we've, we've gone through a lot of uh, design process, but um, for now, like it's a little too early in the season to like climb high. Uh, it's not safe. It's not like, and it's not like it's, it's uh, important for now but we would really like to introduce that in our design in order to make some points. And uh, also it's a really good mechanism. Well, and we've seen a couple of our tier three hangs in back here, or like a kudos or something yeah. like that, but they're sacrificing a lot to do something like yeah, that. Exactly. Like they're pretty much playing pure defense during the yeah, match. Yeah, that's so. why we didn't go with a, a, a high clan. Because now like um, we, thought, uh, we thought of uh, a lot of um, uh, hanging mechanism, but the thing is that we need like a whole side of the robot to climb that high and it just didn't fit our, uh, our needs for now but we would like to, uh, to to go with that later and that's why we uh, we wait uh, to see like how the season progress well dark penis thank you so much for taking time to talk more about it i love seeing the creativity in vex robots and you definitely do not disappoint in that front so we can't wait to see how you do. Obviously incredible skill scores you've been doing so far. So good luck uh, as you continue with that. And of course here at the competition and throughout the rest of the season. Thanks a lot guys. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.